Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to solve a simultaneous linear equations involving two unknown variables using matrices. I mark you, this is not Kramer's rule. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. I have already written my equations here. You can see them. All of them consist of X and Y. We want to find the real values of this x and y that will satisfy the two equations. So, the first thing we need to do in matrices, we can represent the left hand side by a matrix of the coefficient of these unknown variables uh, multiplied by another matrix of x and y. So, we have the first coefficient to be equal to 2, we have coefficient here 3, coefficient 4 and coefficient negative 1 this is a matrix of the order 2 by 2 multiplied by a matrix x y if you multiply these two matrices together you shall obtain this back and this is equal to another matrix of the constants 12 and 10 so we are going to represent each of this matrix by a variable. Let's call this one A, let's call this B, let's call this C. This means that A matrix A multiplied by matrix B is equal to matrix C according to this substitution. But we are interested in knowing B, so we are going to solve for B, which represents our unknown variables. To do so, we are going to multiply both sides by uh, inverse of matrix A because inverse of a matrix multiplied by the original matrix is nothing but an identity. An identity multiplying any matrix will not change the matrix. So we are going to multiply both sides by this A inverse. This will eliminate this entirely leaving B. And B is equal to A inverse multiplied by C. What does this mean? It means that if we find the inverse of this matrix and multiply it with the constant, we are going to obtain the value of B which represents our unknown variables. So how do we find inverse of a matrix? This A inverse is nothing but 1 over the determinant of that matrix multiplied by the adjoint of the same matrix A. So we are going to find the determinant of this matrix as well as the adjoint of the same matrix. Let me start by finding the determinant. The determinant which is donated by this will be equal to, you take two, you multiply by negative one, the leading diagonals. Then you subtract, you take the other diagonal, we have four, multiply by three. You can see that two multiplied by negative one is negative two. And negative 4 multiplied by 3 is negative 12. Negative 2, negative 12 is negative 14. This means that the determinant of this matrix is nothing but negative 14. Now let us go ahead and find the adjoint of this matrix. The adjoint of this matrix, I'll follow a shortcut because I have shown you how to find the adjoint of a matrix in our previous lesson. So, for 2 by 2, we are just going to interchange the leading diagonals. Uh, we have 2 and negative 1, so I will start by writing negative 1, then 2. Then the other diagonals, I am going to multiply them by negative 1. We have, for this, we have negative 4, and for this, we have negative 3. This is the adjoint of this matrix. Then, for A inverse, which is the same thing as 1 over the determinant. The determinant is negative 14. 1 over the negative 14 is something as negative 1 over 14. Multiply by the adjoint, and this adjoint is negative 1, negative 4, negative 3, and 2. So this is going to serve as a scalar multiplying each and every entry in this matrix. And this equals, this time this will just change the sign. Negative, negative is positive. So we have 
1 over 14 here. This other one will also cancel this negative sign to positive. We have 3 over 14. Coming down here, this negative will change this. We have 4 over 14. And the last one, this is positive, this is negative. It will remain negative. 2 over 14. And hence, this matrix is said to be the inverse of matrix A. Okay, let's continue. To find B, which is the required solution, we're going to take A inverse, which is this, and multiply it by the constant, which is this, 12 and 10. So let me use this space for that. So A inverse multiplied by C, we have A inverse multiplied by C. This will give us, uh, this is A inverse, which is 1 over 14. 4 over 14, 3 over 14, and lastly, negative 2 over 14. This is our A inverse. Then for the constant, we have them as 12 and 10. We have 12, we have 10. So we are going to take first row here and multiply it with this first column. This time this is going to make it um, 12 over 14. Plus, you take this, you multiply by this, 10 times 30 is 30. We have 30 over 14. Then you take the second row, multiply it with that first column. 4 over 14 times 12 is going to make it 48 over 14. Uh, negative 2 over 14 times 10 is negative 20 over 14. Remember, this is A inverse multiplied by C. Let us further simplify. This plus this is going to make it um, 42 over 14. This minus this is going to make it 28 over 14. And lastly, 42 over 14 is 3. 28 over 14 is 2. This is A inverse multiplied by C. But what is this A inverse multiplied by C? Remember, it's the same thing as B. This is equal to B. And what is B? Uh, we learned that B is the same thing as X and Y, a matrix of X and Y, X and Y. So by relating this together, you can see that X is equal to 3 and Y is equal to 2. So now let us conclude. Therefore, X and Y, the values of X and Y are 3 and 2 respectively. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.